everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Everyday Whiskey. I'm Mike. And I'm Dan. And this week we are doing something we've never done before. No. So I, I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. Many of you are familiar with what a store pick is. And if you're not, Mike's going to explain it once I'm done saying what I have to say. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to show you as retailers, and yep. Mike works for just everybody used to work for a retailer, yep. what happens when a uh, distillery, that's the word I'm looking for, what happens when a distillery sends you samples for a private barrel? Yeah. So we're going to show you exactly, that's what this is. And we're going to show you exactly kind of how we go about it uh, and how I've gone about it, how Mike's gone about it. Uh, and then, so Mike, just kind of a little bit more elaborate description yeah. of that essentially. So like I said, right now you're looking at just a plain brown box on the screen. And that's because what we're going to be sampling is inside here. So basically what happens is Dan is the manager of a liquor store. Mm -hmm. His distributor will approach him if he's doing great in sales with X supplier or brand. And they'll say, hey, are you interested in doing a barrel pick? So what they'll do is sometimes it'll be one product, like Four Roses, and they'll send you mm -hmm. several samples of a of that of their barrels. It'll yep. be just four different Four Roses barrels. Or in this case, it'll be a supplier who will give you the option of multiple different brands, which are in this box. And you'll get a little pint size. It's a 200. It's, it's, it's a, a 200, 200 mil, mil essentially, yeah. of each different brand and what their offering is for the barrel. Yep. And then generally, if it's a big retail chain like you guys, all the managers will come together and you'll do it collectively. If it's just an individual store, maybe the lead it would buyer. Be, that would be the owner elite or bourbon yeah, buyer, I guess. They would, they would go through it and pick whichever one. And then basically you just tell them this is it. They get it and then they'll get the barrel for you and they bottle it all up. They it's usually depending on what it is, it yields X amount of cases and bottles. Usually if all right, so like say like we're we're gonna tell you what we're doing after we're done with this. Yeah. But say it's a six pack case, uh which you know, six seven fifties, you're gonna get around thirty cases out of a barrel yep. of six packs, you're gonna get just to make the math easy. Yeah. You're gonna get fifteen cases out of a twelve out of twelve pack case. Exactly. Those are it could be like seventeen to thirty eight, depending yeah. on proof yield a season if you're doing a single barrel if there was you know a little more evaporation that year if the climate wasn't indicative or didn't turn something out correctly yeah so there's a lot that goes into it but mm -hmm. 15 cases for a 12 pack 30 cases for a six pack yeah so let's uh all right this is gonna be fun we'll show everybody what we got going on here yeah all right um i'll like cut this part out yeah so what we have today we're doing eagle rare mm -hmm. and we're doing stag aka formerly known as stag jr yep so we have two different Eagle Rare right here, and we have two different. Here we're just gonna yeah yeah. And we have two different stacks. So this is what you get. It's not like you get a bottle of bourbon. No, you get it's something you could print out of Microsoft Word. It's got like it's it's a really cool intimate way of you feel. This makes like every time I've done this, I've done this dozens of times. Yeah, it makes me feel very special. It's, it's, it's super cool, and like we just wanted you guys to see. The other end of this, yeah, more so or when, less. When you're all hunting your store picks and trading your store picks, this is what the store goes through to get that pick. Yep. Um, and we will rate these, but they're not going to be official on in yeah, our thing. Yeah, because they're not really... Th we're we're going to rate them in the terms of... Because we're going to pick our barrel. Yeah. Obviously, we're not getting a barrel of whichever these were from a pick you But just these did. will not be for the Whiskey of the Year bracket no. competition that we will be doing in January. Like, End of December, beginning of January, we are going to be doing our whiskeys of the year, and it's going to be probably what a three-part episode yeah. of a bracket challenge, probably essentially. Uh, so, uh, we're going to do the Eagle Rare first, just for obvious reasons. That's usually ninety proof or so, and mm -hmm. then the Stag. I they don't put proofs on here. No, it's they just don't. barrel just number, that. location. Oh, forty-five ABV. So ninety. Oh, no, proof. it's on there. Okay, never mind. I apologize. Ninety proof. You just got to do the math. I don't think the stag's on this there. one. This one's not. This one just so says barrel proof. So this, yeah, the stag is indescript, but usually stag is between one twenty-six and one thirty-two. Yeah. So all right, let's uh, go with barrel number one forty-five. So we'll just do that. Forty-five. There you go. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, location. That's pretty sweet. They give you the lot, the location. They give you everything. They're, like the, this um, is the most the barrel number. Yep. This is the most transparent thing you'll ever see as far as bourbon goes, especially from uh, Buffalo Trace. The recipe, which is a rye recipe for this. Yes, yeah, so I think Eagle Rare. I, I always mix up the mash bills, but I believe Eagle Rare is mash bill number one, which is the high rye mash bill. I think so. 
I think you're right. Correct me if I'm wrong. There's two mash bills. They might be split. Eagle Rare 10, I think, is in one mash bill, and then I think the higher ends are in another mash bill. There's just two. Like, Bland's is, I think Bland's is number two. Eagle Rare is number one. So. Ooh. Wow, this smells like apple pie. Yeah, there's no... I've, so, I've, I've had all these, obviously. I had, like I literally already did this for the company I work for. Yeah. And we had all 15 managers try them. There's a couple of us that are big bourbon guys, and we kind of, like, uh, you know, our decision or our say kind of takes mm -hmm. a little more sway. When I say it smells like apple pie, it smells like the apple filling. Yeah, it's, like it's just cinnamon. The, just it's the cinnamon, cinnamon maple. Maple-y, apple-y. Really? For, I like Great nose. This nose. is not a normal... And, like, you're going to get stuff here that you would never get in something that was mass-released. Exactly. That, which is another reason a lot of people hunt store picks. That's really nice. It's actually sweet. It's like that. Oh, wow. It's grape. It's like grape must. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, dude, it's grape. Wow. It's grape. It's just grape. I really like this one. That's grape. Yeah. This is grape. This is really good. Damn. I'm inclined to say this is better than regular Eagle 10. Oh, yeah, definitely. Now, at 45%, which is 90 proof, really easy drinker. Yeah, a really little, easy a little drinker. bit of that Kentucky hug in the back, but that's fine. That that that's um, normal, especially for Eagle Rare. I'm starting off high, actually. I think this is great. I I you think I know go? what you're gonna say. But I'm, I'm gonna go with a nine flat. I was going eight seven. Okay, so, so I'll meet you at eight 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 eight. Okay, so eight point right. eight on barrel number forty five. Is that what it is? This is barrel one forty five. One forty five. So far, that's in the lead. All right. So next, we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, we'll hold them up every time. I'll hold them up for like five seconds. So yeah, you might just have to like. Back. Yeah, so, so you guys can read if you want to read, or you can face. just pause the video right now so we can go. <laughs> okay, we're good. Um, so this is barrel number. Cut this out. All right, so what we're doing is barrel number four, zero, zero, 004. Oh, wow. Right here. Okay. <laughs> so, again, another Eagle Rare barrel. We're going to see which one we like better. Yep. First one was really good. Like, so immediately, this nose I don't like as much. It's kind of. Uh, um, herbal in a weird way. It's, whoa, hold on. It's like hay funk, kind of like hay, pepper, really <laughs> funky. I'm about to get really specific with mine. I don't know mine. what's in this. There's floaties in here. Though. There are. Like I'm about to get yeah. hyper specific here. It smells like a bar of dial soap. Like weird soap, like, but yeah, dial I don't soap. know. Yeah, like the the dollar store soap, right? Kind, yeah, like. I don't know. It's interesting. I get All the right. floral and a little bit of spices in there. It's like dump cinnamon on your soap. Interesting. Yeah, this is a really... I really, actually... I. Uh, so the ones that we actually picked for our store picks are not here. Okay. Those are not here. We I pulled those out and handed them off yeah. to uh, another one of the managers. Mm. This one's a little flat. There's still that grape note, for sure. It doesn't taste all that different it's a lot more medicinal i think there's more spice too it, I, i'm getting medicinal on this yeah this one's a little flatter like i say i think maybe a little more herbal or a little more medicinal in, in a sense because i way. get that grape note but it's not as like it's amplified. not blending in yeah like it, it tastes almost like grape cough syrup kind of uh, uh i don't i'm not a fan of this one all right uh, i'm gonna go 7.3 i'm gonna meet you there 7.3 out of 10 on barrel number four all right, so out of the two, Barrel 145 wins our Eagle Rare show down here. Yeah. So we'll so leave that, that one, one forward. forward. Yep. All right, next we've got um, we've got Barrel 319. So this is the first of the stag barrels we have okay. here. So these are going to be way more intense, obviously. I was going to say, these are going to be some heavy hitters. They don't specify proof at all. It's just cast strength. Mm -hmm. Now this is oh. just wood. Yeah, I was going to say wood and toffee. Yeah, a little creaminess. Yeah. Like mar marshmallow. Maybe, like oak, and, oak and marshmallow. I like the nose on this one. This, this is good. This is a pleasant it's big. Nose. It's big. This is like backyard bonfire whiskey. Yeah, nose. this is this is like this will keep you warm. Yeah, I like sure. this nose. All right. There's a little bit of ethanol, a little brightness, but not not crazy. It's chocolate. Ooh. Cherries and chocolate. Heat. Yeah. For sure heat. For sure heat. Definitely hotter. <laughs> Definitely hotter, but lot. cherries and chocolate, though, like, big, to me. That's, kind of, yeah, like a dark chocolate cherry. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like one of those Ghirardelli mm -hmm. candies, yeah. that are the chocolates yeah. with the bubble in the middle, and it's, like, yeah. the surprise you don't want. Ugh. Um, wow, all right, the back end's really hot. Like, it it really, is really hot. It really got me. It's really hot. Do we know how many years this has aged? 
Stags yeah. are NASs, not oh, HDMI. Right. So mm. it's just like like Eagle Rare. We know is ten years. Yeah, but like with NASs, when it comes to Buffalo Ooh. Trace, like uh, from from what I've read, seven to nine years. Oh God. Seven to nine years, <laughs> five to seven years. It's it's somewhere in there, and I don't want to say five to nine because that's so that's such a broad yeah, spectrum. That is. These they have to age a little bit longer just because they don't. Five years at that proof is like outrageous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually gonna. Yeah, yeah, that's take, a dumb class. That's a lot. Yeah, that, um, that is a heavy heavy hitter. Uh, I have to deduct points for the 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 lack of I hate this word but smoothness. You know, it was definitely a little. It was definitely a little choppy. Like, yeah, I, it's I, long it was, lasting. Yeah, I because uh, I've had and like I, I don't want anyone to be like, oh, you guys are just being you know, pussies. Mm -hmm. We've had stags that oh, aren't yeah. like that are not this, and they, they oh, were yeah. you know like batch twelve was one hundred and twenty. What was it? Batch twelve was one hundred thirty two point one two proof. Yeah, it's delicious. Or one hundred thirty two point yeah proof, and it there was almost no kick to. No. Um, Six point eight. I'm um, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm good I'm with that. Right there. I'm not nuts about that one. I'm not either. Uh, it, it doesn't taste like it's blended good. I should have like t took like note like I'm not. I did take notes during our meeting, but mm -hmm. I wish I took notes about what everybody thought because I actually yeah. probably would have been. And when I say relevant. it's not blended well, I don't mean it's a blended whiskey. I mean like like, like it is all, blended. Like, oh, oh, well, <laughs> I just mean like all the flavor like the flavors aren't. They're, they're not mixing. They're yeah. they're just they're well, kind of butting against each other. Normal stag is blended. This uh, is not. These are single barrels, yeah. obviously. But D they're they're not. It's just not meshing. Everything's right. kind of going at it. As long as this is not cat pee in a glass, I think this will yeah, probably... should be good. All right. This probably win. So this is now barrel 86. Yeah. They're all random. These are completely random. Like, there's no... Like, when they pick barrels for us, like, we don't really have a say where they come from. They just yeah. send us samples. I noticed they're all rye. This is the rye mash bill. Oh, okay. So it's mash bill number one. Gotcha. Again, if I'm wrong on that, I'm sorry. It's one or two. I have a 50-50 shot. I'm pretty sure... Ooh. I'm pretty sure Eagle Rare is mash bill number one. Yeah. Um, that's on me, if I'm, if I'm wrong. So, this is a slightly smokier nose. I like this nose better. I do, too. So, the, you know how I kind of said this is like your campfire whiskey? This is definitely This that. is more so... Like, this smells like like a bonfire. Like, yeah. A little bit smoky, this is more a little mellow. bit oaky. This is more Definitely mellow. more mellow. Ooh, this is... Dude, I like this nose. All right. This is really nice. This is the chocolate and cherries, but just a little more well-rounded. There's still that, like, kind of... caramel. There's still that punch, but it's like an oak char note. It's not a, a yep. big ethanol -y bomb, essentially. I get a little bit of toasted caramel, chocolatey, a little bit of that cherry wood in there. I like this one a lot. This is my one favorite one so far, honestly. I'm just going to call it like it is. I think I still like this one better. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'll have but to try. I'll leave this one forward because, yeah. like, you can't compare these two. They're totally That's different. That's true. You really can. But like for me, like this is like very very good. Yeah. This is an eight seven. To me, I was still gonna. I was. Like, I was gonna make you do your work on this one. I was gonna go up to like a nine two. All right, so eight seven <laughs> nine two. We'll go nine flat. Meet in the middle. Okay. So nine flat on barrel number eighty six for the stag. Yeah. That wins that. And it's the highest rated out of the entire lot. Yeah. So, like, I like this one better, the Eagle Rare. A little more mellow, a little more sweetness to it. Mike liked this one. A bit bolder, a little more yep. smoke tinge to it. Yeah, which, which is up my alley. fits your palate yeah, way more. Yeah, it fits my palate a lot more. Uh, and this is the fun part about it. This is, like, imagine doing this in a room with 15 people and you're, yeah, you're banging ideas off each other. 15 different palates you yeah. gotta, and this you gotta is... come to an agreement on. And, like, usually what I wind up doing is, like, I sometimes I don't wind up picking the barrel I like the most. Yeah. Because, like... Granted, it's a it's a team effort at that mm -hmm. point, and you also want to pick a barrel that can be close to what the original is. Definitely, because you Definitely. don't want to you don't want to like alienate those Eagle Rare enthusiasts that mm -hmm. love the base Eagle Rare, the, the one that you get every day. Because if you get something that's too far, you know, off the reservation, yeah, then like you said it, it becomes a little difficult. Like the stags are way easier to pick. I, with stag, I just picked I picked the one I like the most because yeah. there's so much variation from batch to batch with stag. People want the variation. They don't want the same thing. They want to try different stuff because they want to say, like, my batch was better than the last batch. I got batch 12. You got batch 13. I agree. 100%. You know, get bent. Like, <laughs> everyone, and no, you're right. Everyone wants uniform, 
uniformity with the Eagle Rare. Yeah, Eagle Rare know, is known for consistency, where yes. Stag Junior or Stag now is They're known for being a little more all over the place and a yeah. little more random. All the time. So, in all, I hope you guys took away something cool from this. I, I don't know how this would translate to you, but this is what happens behind closed doors. Yep. It, it's not anything crazy. It's, it's a very simple conversation. It's trying. It's taking notes. And it's, you know, exchanging ideas. And this is, like, the bare bones, just brief description. I mean, listen, I'm sure there's people that'll comment, no, I've done store picks. It's more involved. Yeah, it, it can be. Customers can do store We're picks, just... too, if they're buying the barrel. Yeah. Or if me, like, if I was a store owner, and I was like, you know what? I know Anthony mm -hmm. is a really big bourbon guy, and he's got an awesome palate. I'm going to bring Anthony in here, Yeah. and I'm going to have him try barrels with me. Yeah, That you, totally you, happens. There's, there's probably even more. We just gave you the bare bone, just... Just the this is quick, stripped down. Yeah, just basics of it, of pretty much what goes on. All right, Mike, send so, us, just send us off. That's all right, that's guys. All I got. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, please do three things. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. That helps us out a lot. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers.